A new report says the rehabilitation of abandoned mines could create thousands of jobs in areas hit hard by the resources downturn. Queensland alone has more than 15,000 abandoned mines, including several large sites leaching contaminated water. But the Mines Minister says some of these old mines can be cleaned up and transformed into renewable energy projects. Mark Willisie reports. It once yielded thousands of tonnes of copper ore. But since being abandoned 45 years ago, the only thing the Mount Oxide mine north of Mount Isa has produced is pollution. Every time there's a decent rain event, uh, the mine overtops or it leaks um, and the creeks basically around the property run blue with acid mine drainage. This bright blue water flows for several kilometres down nearby creeks and through the cattle station owned by Brussie Spreadborough. Some of that water that's running down there has got a pH of 2 and that's battery acid. Mr Spreadborough blames this acid water for the deaths of trees as well as ducks and cranes. The Mount Oxide pit is just one of the abandoned mines featured in a new report by the Lock the Gate Alliance, which argues that these often contaminated sites must be cleaned up. But there's several thousand jobs that can be created in rural and regional Queensland, particularly in mining precincts that are badly needed now after the downturn. To fund these mine rehabilitation jobs, the Lock the Gate report argues the government could impose what it calls a modest industry levy. Or it says the money could come from interest earned from a new cash environmental bond system. Queensland's Mines Minister says the government is looking into the current system. But it's clear that cleaning up a mine like Mary Kathleen in northwest Queensland would cost hundreds of millions. The old uranium mine plunges 250 metres into the earth, while the top of the pit is four kilometres wide. For Ian Campbell, whose cattle station encompasses Mary Kathleen, it's a gaping wound that leaches contaminants into the surrounding landscape. Well, you see all the trees dead for kilometres down the creek, or a lot of the, you know, the big trees have died, and you see a lot of white crusting along the banks of the creek, and, and for a couple of kilometres down, you can, the water just smells. But the mines minister says Mary Kathleen, like many old mines, is still a vast and viable resource with huge deposits of valuable rare earths in its tailings dump. It may be that we can encourage a company to take that deposit and rehabilitate the mine at no cost to the Queensland taxpayer. The rehabilitation and transformation of some abandoned mine sites into new clean green energy sources has already begun. The project site is located at the old Kidston Gold Mine, which closed down in 2001. The Kidston project, northwest of Townsville, will generate solar power and run its own hydroelectricity scheme using two old water-filled mining pits. It is 24-hour solar power supplying all the peak demands for Townsville, a bit of Cairns, but most of that northern Queensland. The rejuvenation of an abandoned mine is a source of renewable energy. Mark Willisie, ABC News, Brisbane.